Hi guys, this is Angie from Don't Pay Retail Thrift, and I thought I would just share a quick little thrift haul with you. It's been a while since I've done a video, um, so I do have a small art haul and a couple things I got um, in Georgia when we were on our way home from our family Christmas. We stopped at a couple, I think, Goodwills and thrift stores and on the way to the airport and found just just a couple uh, little treasures. So I'll start with those. Um, we stopped at like, I'd say four, maybe four Goodwills. Another uh, another thrift store, and then at, we actually found a Value Village, which I have never actually, have never been to one before. I know I've seen, I see a lot of thrifters that actually have them in their area. Um, I was excited to go into that, but I was not excited with the items they had. It really wasn't that great, uh, the one that we stopped at. So we'll start with this mug. This was um, the only thing I got at a Goodwill in Georgia, and it was one forty-five total with tax. Um, but I love this mug. It was really cute. I love the color blue. I love the heaviness of it. It's a Starbucks mug from, oh, let's see. It's actually in excellent condition. And I do sell Starbucks mugs every once in a while. Sometimes I'll keep them from 2013. But it was in fabulous shape. The color was great. I love the, the, it's really heavy and large. It says 14 ounces, but it's just a fatter mug. And it does say Starbucks right there. Um, but I thought it was really cute, and I couldn't leave it for $1.30 or $1.45. And um, that was the only thing that I got in that store. Um, yeah, it was, it was kind of like mug day, I guess, for the Goodwills in that area. And we found another Goodwill, and I found the only thing I got from it was this mug. It was half price. I think I've already. It was marked ninety nine cents. I got it for half price, so I paid fifty two cents with tax. Uh, and I just loved it. I love the orange. I love the handle. I love it's tall. It's not labeled and marked of any kind. Um, it's in great shape. Just needs some cleaning up, but it was adorable. Um, so I had to grab that for fifty something cents. And then we we did like I said we found the Value Village. Um, I got two things there. They just didn't have a lot of stuff. Um, the ones that I've seen on people's videos. Um, somebody I used to watch uh, always goes to Value Village, and now I'm going blank on who that is. Um, and her store is always full. Well, this one was not. <laughs> I got two things there, and I want to say I spent, like, not even a dollar. Um, so I got this really cute plate. I loved the scalloped edge. It's heavy ceramic. It was in really good shape. Not really any scratches or whatever. Um, it had a label on the bag, but I cannot really make it out right now. It's kind of just a, a stamped imprint. It's very hard to read. But it was only marked 40 cents, so I got it for like 20 cents. And um, I plan to do, I have a lot of vintage decals, ceramic decals that I'm going to be doing um, pretty soon. And I thought this would be re really pretty with the decal on the front. Probably Christmas, maybe Easter. I'm just not sure. I haven't decided yet which decal I'm going to put on it. But I just love the plate. It was a gorgeous plate. Um, and that was the only thing I got there besides this puzzle. I think I might have showed in one of my last video Christmas videos a really pretty glittery puzzle that I had gotten. Um, I forgot to show you guys after I put it together, but it, it turned out gorgeous. I love Christmas themed puzzles. This one was marked 80 cents, so I paid 40 cents. Um, it's called Silent Night, Gentle Night by Donna Gelsinger, I think. But I just thought it was really pretty um, with the angels and the tree and the snow and the birds and the bunnies. It was just a gorgeous puzzle. So what I normally do, I sell puzzles a good bit. When I find one that's already opened, I um, I enjoy putting them together. I love putting puzzles together. So I, um, I will put it together and just cross my fingers that I have all the pieces. If I don't, um, like I said, it's fun doing it. Um, and yeah, um, so it's 24 by 18. And hopefully, actually, let me open this one. One of them actually was in a bag. Let's see if this was this one. Oh, yeah, this one is in the bag, and so, but I don't know. The bag has been opened, so I'm hoping that um, if someone took the time to keep it in a bag, but hopefully all the pieces are there. And I think at the end of the video, I'll try to remember to show you guys the other one that was so pretty that I uh, showed before. 
All right, and the rest of my haul is pretty much a half price ARC haul. I went to um, a couple ARC stores recently, um, and I found a few things. All right, so I apologize if it sounds like I was pausing there. I was. I had my phone plugged in with a cord because it said low battery, and it was not charging. So hopefully it is now. So back to the ARC haul. Um, most of the stuff I got, I think I just pretty much got for me. Um, so we'll start with these really cute um, strawberry shortcake valentines. They were 50 cents, and it was an unopened pack of 30, and I just thought it was really precious. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to keep that, or I probably will keep that and pass them out, some of them at work. Um, the job that I have, I do a lot of the decorating for the employees and other and things, and we do we always try to do fun, sort of fun things. So that would be cute. That's really why I grabbed them. I'm not sure if I would use them because we have more than 30 employees, but they were so cute, and I love strawberry shortcake. Um, just trying to see what the pictures look like. Yeah, so they're just really cute little valentines. And then another thing I got for my work, just because it was inexpensive. With the decorating, we do a lot of these little tissue pom-poms for different, um, for Christmas, Halloween. Um, I have I have to decorate our break room for whatever holiday or season or whatever's going on. And I have used these before, but I get them at usually at Michael's. And these were only 30-something cents. So I grabbed those because I thought St. Patrick's Day is coming up and I can definitely use those in part of that. And... I got this pretty angel. If you've seen my videos before, I thrifted one of these quite some time ago, but it was bigger and it was not ceramic. It was um, like a big, heavy, I don't even know what the material was. But I originally saw this angel in one of Vintage Vinny's videos years ago. Um, he had one when he was showing his Christmas video tour. And his was painted. And the, one I, the other one that I recently thrifted at a Goodwill, I think, for really inexpensive... Um, I, I am attempting to paint it. It was white, like, not resin, but some really heavy, something in between resin and, like, concrete. Um, and I'm in the middle of painting her, but this one I found is the same one. I, I like, I kind of like that she's white, although I think the color would be prettier, but, um, she is a ceramic piece. I paid two fifty for her. She's not dated, or there's no mold maker, and I don't remember the mold maker, but she's just a Christmas angel, and you're supposed to run lights in here and put bulbs that light up, um, which I do plan to maybe, I don't know what this is, it looks like wax maybe, but give clean that up and I am going to run, if I can find the right kind of bulbs with the, the electric bulbs, I am going to run electric bulbs in there, probably put some blue bulbs and use that for Christmas, I just love her, she's really pretty, and she's way, she's way lighter than the, the other one that I'm working on painting right now, that one is really heavy. Okay, and I found this. It's just a pepper shaker from Avon, 1980 Avon. It's missing its stopper, but I just thought it was cute. Um, it was 30-something cents. Just It just lists different, uh, not quite sure, spices maybe. Um, I haven't looked this up to see if it had a specific name for the pattern, but I just thought it was cute, and for that price, um, I grabbed it. This was another cute little item I just grabbed because it was really cute. It looks almost like forget-me-not. It's a little tiny teacup with gold on the rim and the handle. It didn't have any damage to it that I saw. And it was also it was also 50 cents. It was Mark 99, so I got it for half price. Um, I just loved it. And um, let's see, I think it was Mark Limoges, France. Yeah, it was just really cute for 50 cents. I love little little teacups like that and I love the flower pattern. I got two more of my vintage uh, pie plates. I have a little collection of these now with the different kinds of plates. I think I have pumpkin, apple, something else. Um, this was a cheesecake one. My husband loves cheesecake and I actually think I'm going to, I think I'm going to actually try these recipes. Um, it, might, it might not be that great, but this was in great condition. Um, it is marked Korea. So this is, says dishwasher microwave safe. So it's not. So it's past the 70s. But it was $1.50. Um, and I just liked it because it was in great shape. So I thought I'd grab that. I got this one. I really love blueberry. We make, we love blueberries. My 
Pete's father-in-law used to have a strawberry farm. Um, after he retired from IBM, he opened a huge berry farm. It was mostly strawberries, but he had a million blueberry bushes. We would get to go and just get all the fruits and vegetables that we wanted. He was a very popular guy in his area where he did this. Um, and it just reminded me of him. Um, and I miss getting the blueberries. They were the best. But this was in great shape as well. It also has a recipe in there. I probably won't make this one because we do a blueberry nut crunch that is way better. Um, it's more like a cobbler than a pie, but I liked the plate. And this one was Country Harvest. It was also $1.50, marked 1983. And it's also microwave safe. So that's the nice part about it. Um, some of the really newer ones I don't really like to pick up. I have my other two, I think, are, are made in Korea. And I just picked up a couple uh, bags of bags. I have a lot of like jewelry that I made years ago. Um, and little kind of jewelry and things. This was these were just fifty cents a piece, and it's like I don't know. There's it's just little jewelry bags, or they could be anything else. Um, I just grabbed them because they were fifty cents, and I could use those for for those. I found another one of my favorite pieces. <coughs> If you've seen one of my videos, I, I um, found the Sheffield strawberries and cream uh, pots and pans that were, I got I got some fabulous condition at a great uh, f um, estate sale. And I, and I also found two ramekins in the same pattern. Well, I found this one. This is just, um, I'm not sure what the initial use was for, but um, I love this. It does need a little cleaning up. It's in excellent shape. No chips or cracks. And it was marked $5.99. I paid $3. And I love it. I hope I plan to find more of the of the strawberries and cream pattern. It's, it's really pretty. I would love to find some plates. Um, but I haven't found those yet. I grabbed this just because it was cute to me. And I thought I could use it for my paint brushes or probably for my paint brushes in my basement at my basement sink. It was this is just a vintage ceramic. Nobody marked marked it or labeled it. Um, and this is just a decal that was put on, um, but it was in great shape. It was one fifty, and um, yeah, I just loved it. It could be anything, a utensil holder. I'm going to use it probably for paintbrushes. I grabbed a candle. I don't really usually buy them there, but it was one fifty. It was it was seventy five cents, and it's it was it smelled good. It's Glade. Um, what was the flavor? I can't remember now. I don't see it. But anyway. I do use those sometimes, and for 75 cents, I was definitely going to grab that. I was excited to find these. These are the luncheon snacks snack set. It was a set of four plates for $1.50. And um, I haven't taken them apart yet, but I did try to touch the, all the rooms. I'm pretty sure they're in excellent shape. It's the, um, oh, what is this called? <laughs> I don't really collect this, but I know a lot of people do. Um... Geez, I don't know. Milk glass. Um, anyway, milk glass with the grapes and leaves pattern. Um, they did have two cups there, but they were um, had a chip or something in them, and it was just two. So I didn't get the cups because, if you remember in one of my videos a while back, I actually grabbed these. There was ten of these I got at Goodwill for like, like 10 or 20 cents a piece, I think it was. And I remember someone um, commented on that video and said they possibly came from a... Um, uh, a punch bowl set, which is probably, they were probably right, because I think I got like 10, and I even left some, but they actually match perfect, and when I saw these at home, and the other cups were chipped, I remembered I had a lot of these, so um, they definitely match, so I think I'm going to keep two, and maybe sell two, I'm not really sure, um, but yeah, because I think these probably, there's probably a lot listed, or they, their market is like, overrun with them but I loved them and I would actually use a couple of them so I think I'm going to keep them I think they're really pretty one thing I got from me was this brand new set of curlers I do still sometimes curl my hair as a way to kind of straighten it out because straighteners are just you just can't use a straightener every day if you want your hair to stay in your head <laughs> but they were, and I have been looking for a set I have the, almost this exact set upstairs but it is so old and it's just so in just ready to go go to the garbage this one was only three dollars and it actually has four bigger curlers in the top in the middle mine have these are the biggest in my set 
and I have four smaller ones. So I actually like that. I plugged it in. It worked perfect. I don't think they were ever used. There's no like hair and gross stuff like that in it. Um, still had a little tag down there. So for $3, I had to get that. But I will like dunk them in a, a water bath to clean them even though they I swear I don't think they've ever been used and they did have all their little clips they do have all their little clips in there which is the most important thing because it's very hard to find clips which leads me to say if you ever find curler clips like a bunch of them at an estate sale or something you should get them and list them because they're very hard to find and there are people out there that are still looking for them sometimes because they're hard to find and they're easy to lose all right, now last couple things. This game my husband grabbed at an estate sale for like a dollar. It was Denver in a box, and it's just it's like a clone of Den of Denveropoly, but it was in really good shape. I think he grabbed it just for us to play it. I guess um, it looks like it's never been used. It was kind of cool. It has a lot of the little Denver areas in it. It has everything in it except it's missing one token. Um, and it has like keys and instead of um, houses and hotels, it has like skyline pieces. So I think you like build the Denver skyline as opposed to houses and hotels and keys to the city. But it was a cool game. I uh, thought it was kind of neat. I have some vintage game boards that I have framed. I never hung them up, but I framed them. I have a, a real old Clue one and then a couple other Clue ones because that's my favorite game. And I... Uh, um, a sorry one, and I think I might, I might frame that and add it to my other my other collection. Um, maybe I don't know. It's kind of cool though to have Denver since it's kind of close to where I live, or technically when people think that's where I live. But the tokens were kind of funny. There was a cowboy boot, a snowman, a um, jalapeno pepper. And a football and a heart. And I cannot for the life of me find... It doesn't say it in the directions or anything. It just says six tokens. I have no idea what the sixth token would have been. So I'm trying to Google and find that out. Um, but um, I haven't had any luck yet. I'm really curious. I was kind of thinking maybe like... Uh, I don't know. Um, I have no idea. The heart kind of threw me. I'm not quite sure why they have that. The football in the snow and the pepper, obvious, and even the cowboy boot. But, um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. And one day I'll figure out what the last token is that I'm missing. Um, so that's pretty much my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, no, I have one more thing to show you because I always try to forget something. I also found an ARC. This, um, it's one of those glass, um, cutting board kind of things that used they used to do that matches the patterns of the of of corning it's 1975 corning and i do have like three casserole dishes that i thrifted in this pattern and i love them um they're 1975 but to me that kind of these were also popular i want to say in the 80s cuz that's kind of an 80s toll painted look kind of look thing that used to be popular but um it does have some scratches on it i tried to get them off but i actually got this it was only a dollar 50 and it didn't have any breaks or chips. Um, I've never actually seen one, but I actually got it for my, down where I work on my ceramics and painting and stuff. I'm going to put that down because it's, if I make a mess or whatever I'm crafting, it'll just wipe right off. Um, and I just love this pattern. And it for a dollar fifty, I had to get it. I definitely wouldn't, probably would not try to sell it because, like I said, it's glass. It's glass. I would not want to ship that. That is one thing I probably would not want to ship. Although I have shipped a lot of very breakable stuff successfully. But that's pretty much my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you liked or didn't like. And if you happen to know <laughs> what the other token is, let me know. Um, hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.